Hey kids, welcome to lesson 17, building an app, Canvas Painter, store your dots. Now we're going to get into the core of the activity. We'll be creating a record of every dot your user draws. To do this, we will append every event parameter to an array as events are generated. When we store every mouse location array, we can make interesting effects and redraw the image in different ways by looping over the array. First, let's just make sure we can capture them all. We have a do this, create a new array outside the event handler function, and this is going to be called event list. Looks like it is empty, so we are setting our bucket to empty, and we're going to add items into it. In your event handler, before you call the circle command, use append item to add the event parameter to the list. We have an example down here. Looks like we are putting a variable event list above our event. And inside our if loop, but before our circle, we are adding an append item. What append item are we adding? Well, whatever event list there is, that's whatever the user is pressing at or where the user is at. And what are we going to do where it's going to be an event, the information we're gathering? This doesn't sound too bad. After that, we're going to run the program and draw some dots. In the debug console, we're going to type console.log event list and inspect the contents. You should have a record of every parameter used to draw a dot. It might be a lot. That looks like a lot of information. So we're just basically typing in console.log event list. This doesn't sound too bad at all. Let's go ahead and add these pieces of code. After our set fill color, we're going to add a variable. And this variable is going to be called event list. We are setting our event list array to empty. And after that, we need to go down between our if statement and before circle, and we are going to append items. We can come down here and we can just go to our append items, drag that in. What are we appending? What list do we want to append? Well, the list we want to append is the event list. So we are going to type in just like them, event list. And what is the item? Well, the item is the event that the user is at. That means we are putting our items into this event list array. What items? Well, that's wherever the mouse is at and the shift key is down. Let's see if that's what happens. Let's go ahead and hit run. Nothing Y drag. Shift key in here. Let's draw the letter grade. All of you kids are going to get... Nothing's coming up in our debug console. That's because we have to type in this console.log event list. We type it down here right next to our little caret. I'm just going to go console.log event list with a capital L. Looks like we have a ton of information over here. So it's telling me if the Alt key was pressed, if the Control key was pressed, all this information here. It looks like a ton of information going on here. It tells us our X and our Y positions, whole bunch of fun stuff. I wonder what we're gonna use all this information for. Hmm, I think we're gonna find out pretty soon though, kids. I think this is all they wanted from us. Looking back to our do this, we created a new array outside of our event handler and we called it event list. Inside our event handler, we added or appended items to that list. What items did we append? Whatever the user was doing on event. What was on event? Well, that's when the shift key was pressed down. So where the user was putting little circles down. Hmm. Pretty interesting. I'm very excited to see what we're going to do with this information. 
I think that's all code.org wanted from us. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I will see you on the next lesson.